the Emperor of Britannia, King of England, Wales and Scotland. The age of 71, he has completed, almost completed, his father's dreams, Alfred the Great, of uniting all those the Anglo-Saxons and the British Isles under one banner against the heathens. All that is left to secure is a few holdouts in Scotland and Ireland. The Emperor fears... Well, he knows. This will not be accomplished in his lifetime. He's 71 years old. Even for him to become the Emperor is... A matter that he didn't think possible. But an issue was at hand. For some reason, the heir to the dynasty is his grandson. But not his actual son, who is there to be the act of election. Where everybody wants to be elected. And so we need to figure something out. With regards to this, is it Prestige 426? No, it's not Prestige. You're Distinguished. You're Established. So... Why are you... My primary heir? There's no way for me to designate an heir, so unless I just disinherit you that's going to cost me 225 splendor i don't want to spend splendor i'm really confused right now really am like i, I don't know why he is my premier so if we could get a sex and elective succession who is current heir? My grandson is a current heir. Okay, so if I do Saxon elective succession and I nominate you. Okay, so now you've become my heir. Okay. Why was you my heir? Why wasn't you my heir for the other one? That is confusing. But anyway, that should be okay now. And you know what? You can't abdicate. So I think instead of abdicate, we're going to try and attempt suicide. Dynasty decreases their level of splendor by one. Ah. There's one level of devotion. You die, you'll... Hmm. Want to play prestige per dread? Still got high, fairly high dread. Let's uh, write in my journal. Oh, yeah, I can't buy a claim because that's piety again. Could just go ahead and try and create some more titles to hand out. The Empire of Britannia. Oh, this is awesome. This really is awesome. Once we secured this, well, this land. I'm not too sure. I think I'll try and secure these afterwards. And maybe try and move on to France or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe just build up. Have some fun with that. Oh, Savoy. Oh, Savoy. My Empress is pregnant again. Have you got a lover or something? Wow, I'm 72 years old and I'm still kicking it. Two hundred and fifty to usurp. Two fifty, two fifty. 
Grant you. We'll grant you. Oh, Deus Vault. The Crusades. Crusading time. You know what? I'd be down for a crusade. Alright, so you quite like me now. Quite a lot. Twenty-eight diplomacy. You're not a powerful one, there isn't any decent powerful vassals. You're after that position. You, you're a powerful vassal. Could go after Denmark now. Oh wait, do I have the piety for it yet? Uh, right, so... Elections, are we still first for all of them? We are good. Good, 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 good. Faithful, prepare for war. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for war. Now I'm a devoted. S I went, wait, I went down a piety level? Oh, balls. Did not realize. Crusade for Jerusalem. No beneficiary. Beneficious. Um, is all females. Right. Your daughter and your friend. Zealous. You, you, you're zealous. you just. You're a skilled tactician. Consecrated blood line. I mean, come on. Anyone else? I've got plenty of splendor. What if we did a legacy? You know what's gonna go down this? Glory sounds good to go down as well. Very roleplay. I think glory and law. Maybe warfare? I don't know. We're not gonna go down this. Probably not gonna go down blood. Capable advisors. Uh, kin. Monthly prestige plus 10. That's control growth. Yeah, we'll go down there. That side of the tree. Continue. Get some control up in Lindsay, call to war. Alright, we need to get you a betrothal. Find you a spouse. So the alliance power, you're 14. That's my grandson and my daughter. Uh, if it keeps you happy and secures an alliance, then yes. You, oh yeah, you've got a betrothal. Let's find you someone. Alliance power. Aldum of Iceland. You're from Iceland and you're Amazonian. That is brilliant. I, I actually love that so much. And then you. Let's find you a spouse. Naturally no marriage. Keep the alliance. Go in here. You can marry. Cool. Alliance power. Oh, wait. Yeah. Alliance power, matrilineal marriage. There is going to be no alliance power. Press 
prestige gain. I also buy six. My son, my granddaughter, and my son. Don't think so. Need someone that's similar age or older so they can start pumping out babies. Uh, I want as many members of my dynasty out there as possible. An age. Just go through. actually, yeah, because I'm looking for all ones that will have inheritable traits. Each gain. You know what? <laughs> Why don't we just sort this by age? Grandson and my granddaughter. <laughs> uh, let's marry you to a giant. Why not? Alright. Usurp the Isles. Loyalty of fear, your generous leech. Okay, so you own all of that. We have a claim to the earldom of Angus. What about any of this? Alright, we'll grant you the Isles. We will demand your conversion though. Betrothed to marry. In fact. Wait, we're at war? Oh wait, yeah, no, we are at war. Wait, I have land here? I have land here? What? Since when did this happen? Wait, Moray has one down. Okay. A uh, little bit weird, a little bit odd. Hmm. I wish there was a button where it's like, oh, you could f search for force, com yeah, demand conversion. Uh, anything? Oh, yeah, we're going to debt for that. You can be demanded conversion. Demand conversion on you. And conversion on you. Uh, 
and that's conversions on all of my vassals. All right, let me just check active elections. Nice, you're in rank one for all of them, which is dope. Wait, are we still? Yeah, let's just switch this over. So start converting this. I'm in debt, I know I'm in debt. Thank you for very much for pointing that out. So we can create that duchy and then that duchy. Which would be wonderful. Uh, I'm surprised you are surviving so long. I really am. Could declare war on the Northern Isles. Oh, the crusade has begun. I could declare war on the Northern Isles. He's got claims for them all. Ooh. Could go for that one. But. can't go to Jerusalem. I don't have the money. Because when it says it's going to give me the money, it doesn't give me any money. So I'm invite more knights. Try and get some more money. Brave, yes, you can be brave. We've got victory there, all right? Let's raise all and the Duchess. I think I love you. All right, let's keep this going because as soon as we don't have enough money, there we go. Stop gathering now. And let's start sailing to the Holy Land. Uh, third level perk, Praetorian Guard, monthly prestige per night. I mean, I'm getting 16.6 .6 prestige a month. That's awesome. So much. Um, how many troops are on either side? 37. Oh, wow. We do not have the troops for this. The Abbasids are strong as all hell. This is a futile crusade, but oh well. We're going for it. Yeah, hey, I like how he's got his little crusade in a tire on. Right, and off we go. We're already losing supplies. Wait, we're already losing ducats. <sighs> and then the peasant rabble. Yeah, we're just gonna have to let them. Uh, can I ask the Pope for money? Okay, I can. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Pope. I mean, let's hope we get enough supplies by the time we get here. I mean, we're gonna get here and we're gonna get crushed. Oh dear. There is just so many men. 38k against our 23k. Who even is on our side, allies? 
literally nobody. This is the most pathetic crusade I have ever seen. Legitimately, I have seen crusades no less than like 40k of actual decent size. Like proper crusades, like first crusades and stuff. I've seen them be like 40k in size. Like, what? Why isn't like West Francia or anyone joining Italy or whatever? Oh, this is pathetic. Where's my army? Like, where even is my, my army's all the way here? Come on, let's speed up. You're on 66 supplies. Speed you all the way up. 58. Like, we're just going to start starving very soon. The only thing is, I can't really dock because I can't waste the money. In fact, let's dock over here, actually. Right. I can resupply and I can besiege. No more than necessary. Excellent work. But on this, now I have reached the whole land, I'm actually going to end this episode. So, guys. Thank you very much for watching as we uh, crusade to the Holy Land. It looks like it's really going to be literally only us. Everyone else has just been defeated and kicked back. And yeah, it's going to be up, it's up to us to face 40,000 men. Yeah. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.